Dr. Abdul Kalam, former President of India, Dr. Mohan Rao, Director of CCMP, Professor Sita, Professor B. N. Reddy, Dr. Bhaskar Rao, and we have amongst us many dignitaries, Dr. P. M. Bhargava, Dr. Balasubramaniam, Dr. Yadav, Dr. Raghavan, Dr. Bamji, uh, many others, I think, and uh, lots of teachers, participants, and dear students. First of all, I would like to compliment the organizers for holding, uh, it's more like a, I would say, a brainstorming meeting uh, on a very important topic of this uh, declining interest in science education. I think much has been already said uh, by Dr. Mohan Rao as well as uh, Professor Narayana. I would not like to uh, dwell too much because we are going to discuss a lot on this in these two days. Just a few observations. See, India has a very long flourishing tradition of education in pure and applied sciences. And in fact, we have hundreds of universities and thousands of colleges capable of producing the largest share of educated manpower in the world. And in the last uh, several years, there is a paradigm shift away from science, both at secondary and tertiary levels. For various reasons, I think quite a few have been mentioned uh, by my previous speakers. Uh, in this context of our large population as well as vastness, there has been an overwhelming demand for trained personal education and research scientists because we have been initiating several new institutes, several new research centers and there is a demand. However, there has been a declining trend in natural science subjects in postgraduate degree courses. We have to accept that. Research in pure science in India is also on the decline and faces a shortage in quality <coughs> R&D personnel. Science education needs to be interactive, particularly the teachers require considerable exposure to research. This is where I think the research has not been happening in many universities. I think these are some things which we would be discussing. And what I mean interactive is, many a times, it's mostly the teachers who motivate the students and the children to take up different subjects or sciences or whatever it is. So, if this motivation doesn't happen from the teachers, we, we always see that there is a disinterest in those subjects. This is another very important thing we have to keep in mind. Science teaching and research face a challenge in Indian universities. We know all this. This is something which, where a lot of change is required. Career in science, as already mentioned by Dr. Mohan Rao, is not that attractive, like a profession in business administration or other allied areas. Therefore, it requires economic incentives and rewards. These should be really suitable incentives and rewards. The society feels the science and Technology can contribute to the economic growth of the country. I think we are fortunate. The society feels that. And in fact, as mentioned earlier, Government of India has been very keen encouraging science education by initiating many programs like what we see, the Inspire One through the Department of Science and Technology. And I'm sure the deliberations today and tomorrow are likely to highlight the, basically the causes for such decline and such and, and suggest some remedial measures in this context. I think with this brief note, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity and uh, we would also like to thank uh, the chief guest of today, Dr. Kalam, I think who would be the real source for inspiration for, for particularly this uh, aspect of discussion. So with this, 
I would like to thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you.